Hi, welcome to Serial Code Programming Part 3. In the last two videos, Part 1 and Part 2, we have learned complete theory of 8051 for serial data communication. Let us see the programs for transmitting a message and receiving a message. This is the program for transmitting a message Hanu 7 at 9600 bits per second. Look at the program. Here we included header file reg51.h. In the main method, you can see the steps. Scon is equal to 0x50, which will select the serial data mode 1, and then it will also select data reception. Data reception is enabled with this number 50. T1 equal to 0x20 will select timer 1 in mode 2. Timer 1 I is used to set the baud rate 9600. Timer is getting start started by using TR1 equal to 1. And in the while one loop, we have transmitting first character S of is equal to H. Checking for the transmit interrupt flag whether it is 0 or 1. If it is 0, wait there only. If it is 1, it will come out of the loop indicating that H is successfully transmitted. Clear TA to 0 to transmit the next character A. This is the program for transmitting complete message ANU7. I took a character array. In this I defined each character H, A, N, U, 7 and I took a new line also. So that on the terminal, computer's terminal, you can see Hanu 7 is displayed in every uh, new line. And here in this while one loop, I took a for loop. For i equal to 0, i less than, I less than 6. There are 6 characters in this message. H, A, N, U, 7 and backslash N. So I took i equal to 0, i less than 6, i plus plus. I am passing character by character. When i equal to 0, h will come into s buff. When i is equal to 1, a will come into s buff, like that, so on up to backslash n. And each time I am checking whether t a equal to 0 or not. If it is 0, wait there only. If it becomes 1, indicating that h is successfully transmitted. Then, I am clearing the transmit flag again to 0, so that next character a will be transmitted. Next n, next u, 7 and new line character. Like that, this message continuously repeats in y1 row. Now, let us see the simulation in the computer screen. This is the program I wrote for transmitting a message. Welcome to Hanu 7. In the theory part, we have discussed about only this Hanu 7. But here, here I included a very big program that is transmitting a message. Welcome to Hanu 7. There are totally 17 characters including two space characters. One space between welcome and two. Other one is between two and Hanu. So totally there are 16 plus 1 backslash and 17 characters are there so i took 17 in the for loop and passing one by one character to the s buff let us see the simulation part of this further debug the program and in the debug menu open a window called serial window 1 we are working with serial data communication so the simulation of the serial communication can be seen in this window so open serial window 1 i already opened this and in the serial window 1 place the cursor in the serial window 1 and go to the debug menu and then click continuous run you can see here it is transmitting the message welcome to hana 7 because i have used a new line character so it is displaying the message in every new line so that is how we will write a program for transmitting a message. It is transmitting now with a baud rate of 9600. Program for receiving a message. The first four steps are common as seen in the algorithm. Scon, we are loading a value 50 to enable serial data mode 1 and to enable the data reception. We are setting the baud rate 9600. So I need timer 1 high. So I selected timer 1 in mode 2. I have started the timer. In the while one method, I am monitoring the flag RI, whether it is 0 or 1. If it is 0, it indicates nothing is received. If it is 1, it will come out of the loop, indicating that some data is received into SBUF. I am reading the data available in SBUF into a convenient location, say port P1. Clearing RI to 0 to receive the next message. This process repeats. Let us see the simulation in the computer screen. For serial data receive program, let us see how to simulate the program. So the programming steps are same. First four steps are common. Then in the while one method, we are searching for 
whether the RI is 1 or 0. If it is 1, it indicates data is received. Read the data into P1. Data will be received into SBUF. So, I am reading from SBUF into convenient location, say P1. To simulate the program, go to the serial window 1, open serial window 1, and then put the cursor in the serial window 1, and then go to the debug, and then start running the pro start continuous run now program is in a continuous run mode but nothing is coming on the computer uh, serial window one because nobody is sending a message if somebody sends a message then this controller will receive a message so in this program go to the peripherals open io ports and open port p1 what is the message that is received we are reading into the port p1 so in order to simulate the data reception what we will do is type something in the keyboard say for example here i am typing small a put the cursor in the serial window one and then type small a and look at this port p1 61 is received into port p1 this is the ascii value of small a in hexadecimal similarly capital a it's 41 small b capital b so whatever you type in the keyboard that will be received into the port p1 so this is how we will simulate the data reception that's all for today thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to my channel thank you